This presentation is on wood light frame construction. We're going to be focusing mainly on platform framing and the early technologies that made wood light framing possible. And we'll see how platform frame structures are built. Here we have some of the necessary technological advancements uh, of the time that made wood light framing possible, like railroad transportation, machine made nail um, in the sawmill, or more specifically, the water or steam powered sawmill. This was a major technological breakthrough for the time period because it for the first time in history made boards and other small light wood members very inexpensive. Here we have a balloon frame structure. Um, balloon frame structures he had wall studs that ran continuously from the foundation to the roof uh, the full height of the of the frame um, these walls kind of acted as chimneys in a fire. Um, they let the fire spread from one floor to the next, pretty much unchecked. We, we had to put fire blocks in between the studs. Um, balloon framing was the earliest wood framing system to be constructed with these closely spaced light wooden members. It was also the first frame construction system unique to North America. This is a platform frame structure. Um, we started using this in America in the 1930s. Uh, platform frame structures also were made exclusively of small light wood members. Um, platform framing was more or less an upgrade to balloon framing. Um, they're built one floor at a time which made them a lot safer to construct. Carpenter can put down the first floor platform, put up the walls, put up the next floor platform and then work off of that platform to construct the second floor walls and so on. Um, these platform buildings can be constructed faster and for much less than any other framing system of the time um, and because it used these smaller easier to handle members it could be built pretty much any shape or size this is just a small platform frame structure um, this is an, an exploded diagram so we could take a look at how everything fits together. Um, you can see the parallel nominal two inch wall studs. Um, these are spaced 16 on center or 24 on center. Um, they're connected the top and the bottom to the plates. Usually it's a double horizontal plate on top of the wall. Um, roof rafters just sit right on there. And everything is covered or sheathed with plywood or OSB board. And here we get to take a look at our foundation. It is a, well it's cast in place concrete foundation wall with anchor bolts protruding. Um, a nominal three inch treated sill plate is attached to the foundation and the it's bolted down pretty pretty closely spaced bolts um, you can see in the picture on the right they're using some pretty large square washers now these washers ensure adequate strength and well in the long run when the building goes up everything is pretty much depending on on this connection. Uh, lateral forces acting on the building can cause the building to slide right off the foundation. 
Um, also, it could just overturn, and with the help of the with the help of the sheathing, it's going to protect against racking. Um, so this is pretty a pretty important part of the structure. This is our first floor platform. Uh, after the sill plate is securely anchored to the foundation, um, we'll start laying out the perimeter to our to our first floor platform. Uh, we'll mark it. Uh, we'll start laying out our joists. Um, they'll be normally two by twelve solid wood members, and we'll space them sixteen on center. And then we'll lay down some subflooring. Now we're going to talk about our first floor walls. Um, you can see in the, in the diagram our first floor platform is complete. It's completely sheathed and it is now safe for carpenters to walk around and start building our building our walls. Uh, these walls are constructed in sections. They'll be laying down flat horizontally right on the platform and when completed they'll be tilted up into position and braced. Um, the only thing that's not built in the horizontal position in these walls are the headers. Headers are usually installed when the wall is actually in place and erect. When the first floor walls are complete, we're going to go ahead and build our next platform. The second floor platform is built almost identical to the first. It's going to sit right on top of the first floor walls. Our carpenters are going to be able to move around on this floor after it's sheathed and they're going to build second floor walls just about exactly the same way we did the first. This is the roof framing. Um, you can see the ceiling joists are already in place. They'll sit right on top of the second floor walls. Um, these roof, the rafters themselves, they will be, um, they'll all be cut right on site. Um, usually one right after another, they're just marked with a, with a square cut, passed up to the roof, and then installed on the second floor walls right beside the ceiling joists. This is our light wood frame structure, um, platform frame structure, fully framed and sheathed. Um, they have they have a bit of an overhang on the eaves here. The rule of thumb is every foot of overhang you're protecting two foot of your building. Um, the next thing we do here is put some kind of building wrap on the walls like Tyvek or something something along those lines and um, also we'd put felt on the roof start at the bottom work our way to the top then we could lay our shingles put some windows in and we could start working on the interior And now we have our finished product. The shingles have been installed. We got our siding, our windows, um, everything finished up nicely. We even got some gardening going on in the front yard here. Um, this is a finished platform frame structure. Thanks for listening. See you next time.